this is Elaine with Larkin Lane Creations. And at this time, I'd also like to thank Nick the Booksmith. She is so generous with all of us, giving us this opportunity on her platform to share our YouTube videos or any other videos about what kind of journal I would be if I were going to be a journal. So I do appreciate it. And one other thing, Nick, and again, I think I speak for a lot of us. We would love to be your neighbor. Really. Wouldn't it be fun? Anyway, I got sidetracked. Here is the kind of journal that I would be if I were going to be a journal. I would be spiral bound. That way you can tear pages out. Nobody would really know anything was missing. Um, you could actually probably add some. And my cover would kind of be plain, at least to begin with. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I put these belly bands on them. A little commercial. I do have these in my Etsy shop. I made them a long time ago. The little story behind it is I ordered a spiral bound notebook that I saw online and I thought, oh, it's going to be perfect. They said all kinds of papers. Well, when I got it, it was definitely mass produced, not many different kinds of papers at all. And I said to myself, Elaine, you can do better. So I make the, the cover plain. That way you can decorate. As you can see, I have two samples here of ones that I have decorated. And I put on the front of it one of a kind because it is. And that's just like me. I think I'm one of a kind. I'm pretty unique. I try to be my own person. I try not to hurt anybody else. And I try to be a good friend. So with that being said, inside I have this clear pocket with just stuff in it. Nothing fancy. And then I did put a small assortment of papers in the front, things that I thought I would want to do something with. I make um, envelopes out of calendars all the time. And that's another reason why this journal is just like me, because I do my best to reuse things, to upcycle things, to recycle things. I try to send very little to the landfill without at least trying to use it one more time. So in this journal I have all kinds of papers like these are laminate samples that I had gotten for where I used to work as samples and this journal I think represents me pretty well. I have you know different parts to me. There's different things that I like. I like to learn. I like to read. Um, I like to draw, I like to paint, I like to color, you know, and I like hanging out with my friends. So there's a lot in here that I think would be a good variety and, do I say open-mindedness? Um, there's all kinds of just stuff in here that, um, you know, that I think would be cool to use. And I hope people think I'm pretty cool. So with that being said, I'm going to just show you inside of this one. This one, um, as you can see, I've decorated the cover, but I've collected stuff in here. Um, no matter what the page is, I first took clear gesso. Some of the pages were a little thin, so I, you know, got did the gesso on them to make them a little bit more stout. And I just put all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I have pages in here where there's nothing but people's business cards. I've always, all my life, even though I claim to be organized, I've always had a hard time holding on to business cards. Um, so there's just all kinds of stuff in here that I've done, things that I've, you know, collected, or maybe a little note from somebody. Um, so this is the kind of journal that I would be. I would be nothing fancy. I would be... Oh, there's my man. Like I always say, hey, Mike Rowe, call me. <laughs> I forgot he was in here. Um, but yeah, so this is my journal. I've done all kinds of journals, you know, the ones where you make your own signatures and different papers and everything. But I think this would be me. It's a little bit bigger than normal, and I'm a tall gal, and it, it's getting a little chunky. 
and as my age goes I'm getting a little chunky so I think this journal is a good representation of me and uh, it all it's all started out quite simple not a lot of makeup not designer clothes and that's me too so anyhow once again Nick I appreciate it very much and you know I, I can't tell you you're my favorite youtuber and the fact that you allow us to come on to your channel and you help promote us it, I can't tell you how much it means to me not every youtuber is that way um, so I appreciate you very much and everybody have fun with the challenge and Nick again thank you from the bottom of my heart bye